Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday Tutorials number 170. Today we show you how to make a free dynamic digital signage board with Google Slides. Digital signage is used in many places, from businesses to schools. It's a selection of images in the carousel that cycle and loop back on the display of some sort, giving instructions, news, or announcements. There are commercial solutions out there, and the costs vary a lot with their features. But here at Tech Tuesday Tutorials, we like free and easy. So let's take a look at how we implement this with the Google Slides and a little bit of HTML. So you might say, hey, we already have a looping slideshow, and we show that on the screen already. This is pretty easy. Aha! But the issue is that if you ever want to change anything in that, like correct spelling or add a slide or whatever, you need to make the changes in the slides presentation and then go to the computer that's displaying that information and reload the presentation. If you share that responsibility with others, like you give them editing rights uh, to put something on their slide, then they could make an update and not tell you or ask you to refresh it at an inconvenient time. Now, what would be great is if you could force the presentation to refresh itself automatically on a timer so that you could keep it running all the time and any changes that you or anyone else made would just show up without you having to refresh the display. Well, that's pretty easy, and we're going to show you how. So step one, you want to create a Google Slides presentation, of course, and make sure that the format of that presentation fits the ratio of the screen you have. Most of the time, this is a 16 by 9, and you don't have to change anything. But if it is going to go up on an older monitor or something like that that's like 4 by 3, you'll want to go to File and Page Setup and set that correspondingly. Step two, you're going to set up the computer or screen. Basically set it up wherever you need it, disable any screen or power savers that can stop the signage, and try to make the computer as light on the software as possible. Chromebooks are actually pretty good for this because they're lightweight and they don't run much of anything else other than the web. Next, step three is create the HTML file. Now, if HTML scares you, don't worry about it. We're going to give you the code and everything. So just go to Notepad on your computer and copy and paste the code that you see here. Now, I'm providing you this code via a Google Doc that I'll put in the description of the video. So make sure you go there and get that code that way. Save the file, whatever file name you want, but just make sure you give it the HTML extension. So like kiosk.html. Now, don't close that. Instead, go ahead and go to your presentation and publish it to the web. That's step four. Go to File, Share, and then Publish to the Web. Then click on the Embed tab and the Publish button. A little confirmation is going to pop up for you to confirm that. Go ahead and hit that. Now, don't worry about the slide size or the checkboxes or anything else here, except for the little bit of code that I'm going to tell you. And I'm highlighting it here on the screen. So you copy all of that code that's highlighted in the picture there, starting at the HTTPS and ending right before the slash embed. But don't include the slash embed. Now, go back to your HTML. And where it says Your Presentation Link, erase that part paste in that HTTPS to the slash embed part. You want to keep the quotation mark before it. If you want, you can change the your title here with whatever you like as well. Step six, you want to customize the presentation. And there are three things that you may want to take a look at. They're in dark magenta. The refresh time is how often the slideshow is going to reload itself and check for any changes in the slideshow such as new slides, corrections, things like that. This is measured in seconds, so 3600 is one hour. You're going to want to change the time between the slides. This is in milliseconds, so 1000 is a second. So if you want five seconds between slides, you're going to set it to 5000 milliseconds. And you're going to want to change the background color, possibly. Now, the reason why I say possibly is just because you're running this full screen anyways, so it shouldn't really matter. By default, it's set to black, which is all zeros. If you need hex color codes, there will be a link in the document, and you can get the color code for any color you want. Step seven is save your HTML file. You're going to want to go to File and Save. And remember, if you need to edit it later, you're going to want to right-click on it and say Open With Notepad. Double-clicking it will launch the HTML file. Just double-click it, and it should start your show on a simple, very simple web page. And that web page will refresh itself every hour or or at whatever interval you specified. Press 11 to full screen it. And from now on, you can edit this presentation on any device at any time. And the kiosk will refresh itself automatically based on the timer that you specified. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, 
you know what to do click that like button and click that subscribe button and hit the bell if you want to get email notifications whenever we update another video leave a comment or an idea for a tech tuesday video below share this video with your friends and we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye